on October 14th, 2007 in the early morning hours, uh, we got a call and the call came in of a man yelling, throwing luggage, breaking windows, and myself and three other officers headed up to the International Terminal. There was a man there and there were some bystanders on the public side. Within a matter of 26 seconds, we attempted to communicate with him, told him to get his passport. He instead picked up a stapler, opened a fist towards us. I tasered him. We were in a fight to get him under arrest. Tragically, at the end of his arrest, minutes after he died in Vancouver Airport of heart failure. So a couple years later, I testified at a national inquiry as to what I did. And even though we were cleared by three separate police forces of any wrongdoing that night, a special prosecutor was hired. And based on the testimony we gave at the inquiry a couple of years after the incident, I went to trial for perjury. I was convicted and I ended up serving jail time for a crime I didn't commit. My name is Quasi Millington and I used to be a police officer, now I'm a speaker, and I'm a coach, I'm also a health coach. I got into motivational speaking and that's a passion of mine now as well. The initial reaction can be quite harsh and can give you a false idea of what policing is all about, but when you're educated, when you read up on police tactics and what we did and how what we're trained to do, I would say get that education as opposed to just going with your gut initial reaction. I think a lot of it is just at first feeling like nobody understood who I was or wanted to look into how I felt about the whole thing or how I was dealing with, with everything. It was just this is who you are, painted you into a box. This is who you are. You are this person that we saw on the video. And it didn't seem to matter what I said. I was just always that person. So that was hard to deal with. The mental health and just the online hate and emails and bullying that I've received over the past decade, even to this day, I still get some of those. Mostly people not understanding uh, that we went into do our job and tragedy resulted. We didn't intend for that to happen. We're not the big bad guys, just trigger happy cops waiting to, you know, hurt somebody. That wasn't our intent. I didn't want to talk to anybody about how I was feeling or process that a death happened on my watch. And that was hard to get the courage to kind of talk to somebody about. And when you share, you um, heal. I always say in our imperfections, we make the deepest connections. So when we share those with each other, we help heal each other. I started to realize that we all have issues and we all have problems. So as I would share my story, I would hear other people share their stories. And it started to make me realize that there are a lot of people out there that can use the messages that we share from our lives. And I thought, what a cool thing to be able to do, to be able to go out share messages from your lives that can help someone through what they're going through. It's funny, when I got into speaking, I didn't get in to become a motivational speaker or anything like that. I just got in because I wanted to become a better communicator. I wanted to feel better about myself. I think that my story is with others as well, but my story is about resilience. And I think that that is something that a lot of people, I work with youth, I work with adults, and resilience is a common theme that it's tough for people to build in themselves sometimes and I think that there are elements of the last decade plus of my life that is going to be able to help people to build resilience in their own lives and so that's why I feel it's important to share what I've learned about overcoming adversity so that maybe it can help someone else. In the next 10 years I would see myself speaking all over the world is what I want to be doing and sharing messages, whether it's messages of resilience from this incident or others, professional development coaching, and just working with people and motivating, motivating the masses and how you, how's that?